Hey guys, welcome to a new video. For those who don't know me, my name is Jordan and my YouTube channel is all about photography and videography. I've actually made three separate playlists. One is about photography where I talk about production and Lightroom editing. Another one is about videography where I give you advice on video production and how to edit videos in Final Cut Pro. And I have another one about audio where I give you tips on how to record better audio and how to edit it in Final Cut Pro as well. So if you guys are interested, I invite you to go check out a few of these videos and if you like them and find them useful, please consider subscribing. All right, so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the three new uh, tools that have come out with the latest update of Lightroom Classic. I'm going to show you where to find them, how to use them, and I'm going to give you my personal opinion on whether they are useful or not so much. All right, let's not waste any more time and jump into Lightroom. All right, now we are in Lightroom room and I'm going to show you how to use those three new tools. So those three tools are masks. So in the previous version of Lightroom, we already had access to the uh, subject selection and the sky selection, right? So for the subject one, uh, if I go to like a single subject like this photo, if I uh, click on the subject mask, Lightroom is automatically going to detect the subject in the photo and uh, mask it out, right? If we click show the overlay right here or just press uh, the O key, uh, we can see that Lightroom has done a pretty good job at selecting uh, the subject within the picture. Then we also already had uh, the sky selection, which works also great. So let's just quickly try the sky selection on the landscape photo that I have right here. So uh, I already have filters because this landscape shot is already edited. So I'm just going to add right here a select sky. And Lightroom is as the subject selection is going to automatically detect the sky in the photo. Let's see if it's accurate. It's pretty great. And so those two tools were already available, but uh, you can see that right here on the right, they have added uh, the same function, but for the background, right? So we're just going to try it out. Let's see um, if it works. All right. So I think it's quite accurate, right? So the main subject here being the shoes, right? Uh, so Lightroom has done a pretty good job. So is the background selection pretty useful? I think it is, you know, I mean, previously before having this feature, you could uh, also, you know, just go to a select subject uh, as so. And what I used to would do is just go there and invert it, you know, so it's like you can invert it. That would have the similar uh, effect to, you know, the to the background one, right? So is it useful? Uh, well, I guess, yes. I mean, it's just one step instead of a two step. So you might, you know, find yourself saving um, a few seconds right here. All right, moving on to the second tool, you can see that's right below it. There is an object selection uh, tool, right? It works similarly to the uh, object selection in Photoshop. So you have different options. So if you click on it, by default, Lightroom is going to give you the brush um, mode right here. Okay, so which literally means so you have like a brush, you can, you know, modify the size uh, of it and you can just paint over, you know, like uh, parts of the object. And once you let go, Lightroom is going to smartly um, detect uh, the entirety of the object. As you can see right here, I kind of, you know, I kind of painted like around uh, the shoes, right? Uh, but I don't think this is really accurate in my opinion. Uh, so I've tried the brush tool. I'm just going to show you now with the square tool right here. So if I go right here and click on the square tool, so is I can make a selection as so, right? Like in Photoshop. So that's what I've done right here. It's going to automatically detect the object within it. And that one works actually pretty all right. Is it completely accurate? If we quickly compare it to the uh, subject selection right here, it's, it's pretty similar, isn't it? Yeah, you can tell it's pretty similar. Anyway, now let's move on to the third and last new tool. So if you have a quick look right here uh, under the object tool, so there are the old one, the classic one, the brush, linear gradient, radial gradient, range. Uh, they also have the like, luminance and whatever. And now you can see there is like a people tab right here. So that is a new tool. So if you click on it right here, Lightroom is gonna automatically detect all the people in your shot. And as you can see right here, uh, Lightroom gives you different options, right? So the first one will be uh, Lightroom can mask out all the people of the photo. So here, these two individuals, but you can see that it also gives you the option to specifically select one single person. 
as so. So person number one right here to the left and person number two. And I think this is a great option uh, because if you compare it to the subject selection, it won't uh, select a single person. So I think it's a really useful option that Lightroom gives you right here, right? But this people uh, selection tool doesn't stop here. I'm gonna show you what it can do too. So if I go on the first person, I'm gonna select that one. Lightroom is gonna automatically detect the person's features. As you can see right here, Lightroom offers you the option to mask out different features, right? So right here, the face, as you can see, and the body skin and a bunch of other features this specific person has, right? Let's just quickly see if I go uh, onto the other person. Is it accurate too? The face, the body skin, you know, eyebrows, etc. etc. It works pretty great in my opinion. I think this new tool is pretty amazing and it's going to be really useful, especially if you, you know, specialize or do a lot of portrait photography, right? All right. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave that thumbs up. Uh, it also helps me out, you know, as a, a small creator here on YouTube. So uh, if you do, I really appreciate it. And also I was wondering, uh, what is your ranking? You know, what is the one you think is the most useful out of these three new tools and the one that is like the least? You guys can let me know in the comments. All right, so that's it for me. Um, you guys take care of yourselves and I'll talk to you in the next video.